Welcome to the Yorkshire Dales and the upper reaches of the River Eyre. The Yorkshire Wildlife Trust have been working across the Upper Eyre catchment for over six years in partnership with the Environment Agency and the Yorkshire Farming and Wildlife Partnership, delivering the Upper Eyre land management project across a patchwork of open moorland, farmland, woodland, urban and semi-urban landscapes covering over 300 square kilometres. One habitat seriously lacking here is that of wet woodland. In the UK, wet woodland has declined over recent years with only small, severely fragmented areas remaining. Wet woodland is important for many species, providing shelter and food for otter, crayfish and bats, as well as cranefly, dragonfly and other invertebrates. Managing wet woodland not only improves biodiversity by establishing patchworks of interconnected habitat, but also helps to reduce the risk of flooding downstream, slowing down and storing water in scrapes and channels, reducing flood risk in a natural way. The project has worked on over nine sites across the catchment, including farmland, community woodland, nature reserve wetland and a National Trust property. We have planted and restored over 11 hectares of wet woodland using techniques such as willow coppicing, tree planting and invasive removal. We have also restored over one kilometre of hedgerow through tree planting and hedge laying and we can see here the traditional techniques of hedge laying in action. We have installed 100 metres of living willow revetment helping to enhance and re-naturalise a section of Otterburn Beck and we have fenced off over 750 metres of riverbank and tree planting to protect vulnerable watercourses from trampling and overgrazing by stock. We hope that this work is not only appreciated by wildlife, but also by the people to whom these open spaces are vital. It's been a hard but rewarding 12 months, and we could not have achieved any of this without our brilliant volunteers, whether from local groups or corporate teams. Finally, we would like to thank the Landfill Communities Fund and especially Biffa Award for making this project happen. Thank you.